The unofficial start is summer is fully underway since the Memorial Day holiday here in the United States. My name is GTA Pubs here in today's video. We are going to be diving and breaking down all the information we know since the past 21 hours ago that Rockstar is working full speed on the upcoming DLC summer update for GTA Online and when this update should arrive as it is expected to come come a month earlier than people anticipate it. So let's get right in to today's video. So before I dive in and start breaking this stuff down, I wonder from you guys in those comments section down below, what do you think Rockstar Games is working on with the summer DLC? What type of theme related are we going to get with this upcoming update? Is it going to be a two part update like a lot of people in the community think it is going to be this time around in 2023? What type of vehicles, clothing, etc.? Anything that you think is going to be in this update, make sure you put that in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to read those comments later. But let's dive right into this as Rockstar Games Insider Tez Funds 2 and a lot of people in the GTA Online community noticed on the Steam database page yesterday on May 30th, so around 21 hours ago since when I'm recording this video on May 31st, the last day before June arrives tomorrow. As you can see, the QA Live branch was getting updated. This was coming from four hours ago yesterday to 30 minutes to even four minutes. As you can see, the different depots are changing. And if you don't know about the Steam database page, this is where you can see Rockstar Games changing their depots and different behind the scene changes. And this means whenever there's an update coming, this is when Rockstar does indeed update the QA Live branch. You also know the other branch, QA Beta. That hasn't been updated since six days ago, so uh, kind of a couple days right before the USA holiday. But now it looks like Rockstar Games, as Tez said in showing his picture, that uh, Rockstar Games is cooking up a storm with the summer 2023 update as they are going full swing and updating these depots. So what pup do you think is going to happen with this upcoming DLC? Well, first of all, we don't have any information from Rockstar Games, Newswire, social media, anything like that on when we should receive this update. All we know is they promised a service update in the upcoming um, you know, month or two since they did the last one with the price increases changes as you you know, saw with the Oppressor Mark II getting uh, price change and stuff like that. And we suggest that because it is the start of a new month, and if we are expecting this update in June, which I will get into that, is that we should receive the service update this upcoming Friday, which would be the first week of June, which that would take us to June 2nd. And either Rockstar this Friday would announced when we should receive this update or just receive the service up. Now, going off about that GTA Plus mistake that we all know about, and that is confirmed by Rockstar Games that will be ending on June 12th, which is still a Wednesday if Rockstar uh or June 7th, June 7th, I should say, which is ending on a Wednesday. And remember I said that someone actually reached out to Rockstar Games customer service and ended up getting a response that they looked into it and they said, thank you for your patience. Yes, the end date is the 7th of June, 2023. As you know, Rockstar Games most likely made a typo on their GTA Plus Um website or newswire that this was going to end on june 12th which i was just talking about which would actually be ending on a monday instead of a typical wednesday which we would have got our 
new summer DLC on June 13th, which is a Tuesday, which Rockstar loves to uh, add updates on uh, Tuesdays as well. Now, regarding, you know, Spider Vice on the GTA forum site, he's an admin. Uh, about 20 hours ago, he did put out a post regarding what he thinks is going to um you know, talk about or when we should receive the information. He doesn't entirely sure what to think about this. But again, this QA live paraphrasing what he said could be either a patch or DLC news. But we can't forget about the Gen 9 stuff that PC has received. Could Rockstar be, you know, getting ready to publish that finally to the PC folks? But he recapped it like this. Again, we should expect uh, a G209 service update that Rockstar, uh, you know, decided or, you know, told us we should receive that, you know, information. And there was no middle of the month reminder for GTA Plus, which Rockstar does indeed do. And we know from last week's tunables that there was a slip up with different dates being on the newswire and Rockstar finally switched it to June 7th. And we don't know. If this upcoming Thursday, which is tomorrow, will Rockstar address that problem and get the GTA Plus subscription uh, date, you know, well known and, uh, you know, say, hey, GTA guys, this is going to be the date or what the heck they could actually, you know, uh, shrink it or, uh, you know, make it go further. Uh, we don't know. And again, because it's so early for a DLC, it could be very, very well be the Gen 9 update, according to Spider Vice, as he think um, it could be a normal patch or something like that, because we haven't got a DLC this early in the month of June since gun running back in 2017. Looking at just the newswire for these updates, the first details and screenshots for the G2 Online Gun Running DLC was on May 25th, 2017. And then we got some more news on June 2nd. And then after that, it was actually on the same date that people are speculating this upcoming DLC was published on June 13th, 2017. So basically, I Everyone, like Spider Vice, feels like we're going to be getting any news anytime this week, which could be, um, you know, tomorrow, Thursday, uh, with the new event. We could even be Friday. And because this service update could involve some, uh, huge information, they could even, uh, we could even be getting a part one of this update and part two of this update because going back to the GTA 6 topic of this DLC, if Rockstar was, you know, pushing out this update a month early, this very likely means a GTA 6 announcement in September, October. So Rockstar would bring out part two of this G2 Online update. In June, we would get the second part around, uh, you know, beginning of September. And then after the September one dropped, we would probably likely get supports with GTA uh, 5 Online for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One consoles. And then it would move right in to Rockstar focusing on a GTA 6 announcement. And that would also mean the drip feed from this upcoming DLC would end late August into September. And also, the Summer Games Fest is coming up with PlayStation uh, confirms they are going to be there. And they confirm from Summer Games Fest team that is going to be two hours long. If this was going to be a medium sized large update, Rockstar would might want to upload the trailer with this update with the Summer Games Fest as they don't just announce new titles. They also give trailers to the next DLC regarding this. And one last thing, shout out to uh, someone that does make GTA videos in the community uh g griller he actually made a video 22 hours ago from when i'm recording this uh breaking down about this summer dlc releasing earlier than usual so i just want to uh give you this video and let you guys know if you do 
you want to check it out. So I know there's a lot of information I talked about in today's video that we need to be looking forward to because usually we get this summer DLC uh, late July, even into August sometimes. So Rockstar Games is cooking up from them updating QA Live that we just talked about mainly in today's video and um, just getting ready to probably most likely 9% this week announce something about a service update and or about the next upcoming DLC. And if we get any good news, I'll be sure to share with you here on the GTA Pupster YouTube channel. So if you did enjoy today's video, like rating will be super awesome. Remember to subscribe to the GTA Pupster channel for more videos like this. My name is Pup here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.